Yo, this is Noah Cuz. I'm back on the Split My Channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make hard guitar beats for Kodak Black from scratch. In my last video, I told you guys to drop in the comments what you wanna see next, and somebody mentioned a beat like Feeling Peachy by Kodak. So yeah, this is what I came up with. All the drum sounds in this are in my drum kit, Noah Cuz Essentials Volume 1. Go cop it, first link in the description. But yeah, this is what the beat sounds like. I made it at 123 BPM. I'm pretty sure the feeling peachy was at like 127. So I didn't want to do an even number like 124 or 126. So I ended up going with 122 and then I just bumped it up to 123. But yeah, this is what the loop sounds like. That's pretty fire. I'm just gonna show you guys how I made it. So I started with recording my guitar. Keep in mind, I'm not a guitar player, but if you learn some easy chords, you can definitely use them in your beats. So all I did was I capoed the fifth fret and then I played this chord. I didn't wanna just strum it, so I tried to find a cool arpeggiated picking pattern. I don't know, something like that, but I'll show you guys what I did. So this was the first part that I recorded. I'm gonna play it without effects. Next, I added this top line melody. And then finally, I felt like it was missing something in the low end, so I just added this bass note. Effects on the regular chords, I added this reverb with this EQ and then going into RC20, adding a little bit of distortion and some noise. So on the counter melody, I added this delay, it's guitar triplet wah preset, and I think I changed some of the settings. After that, I went into this delay tape with a stereo chorus preset. Next I have this EQ just cutting out a lot of the lows and highs. Next I went into this reverb intensity, just giving it some more reverb. And then I used this valve compressor. On the bass note, all I added was this EQ. So with the effects, this is what it sounds like. So it sounds cool, but I felt like there needed to be more texture. So I bust all of these tracks to a separate mixer channel and I added these effects. I added Portal from Steven and Pilgrim's Portal Bank with this preset and I brought the mix down. Next I had this EQ cutting out a lot of the lows and highs again. Then I went into this sound shifter and I just pitched it down five semitones. And then I added a J37 with this preset on it and I brought down the flutter and the wow. All right, so after all of those effects, I bounced out the guitar and this is what it sounds like. So I added even more effects after that. I just added this huge high shelf because I wanted to make it more clear. Next, I added this midside matrix. And for some reason, it's not like updating, but I did make it a little bit wider. I just brought this up to like, I think 1.5 dB on the sides. And then next, Super Sauce, I added this H910 harmonizer and I brought this down to 0 0.90. For every 0 0.05 you change this, it brings it down one semitone. So right now I'm bringing this down two semitones technically. So after the guitar, I added this vocal from Contact and I pitched it up 15 semitones. And this is what the vocal sounds like with effects. So for effects on the vocal, I added a shaper box, half timing it, and then also adding a side chain. Next, I went in this bandpass narrow, cutting out a lot of the lows and highs. So next I added another shaper box with a volume automation, and that's just making another side chain. Then I went into this reverb and just brought down the mix and the decay a little bit. Good Herd's Valve Compressor, compressing it. H910 Harmonizer, again, pitching it down two semitones. And then I have this sound shifter bringing it up an octave. So the next thing I added was from Contact. All right, so this Contact Bank just took like 10 years to load. But basically what I did is I went to these red keys down here and I chose the tremolo. And then you also have to go to play and make sure the scale isn't chromatic. Basically, I just played these notes. This is what it sounds like. So for effects on that, I added a shaper box, panning it left and right with some side chain, this reverb, and then this EQ. I duplicated it and then pitched it down a full octave. And then I also panned these opposite of each other. 
So after that, I added even more effects. I added this EQ and then this H910 harmonizer. So after that, I bounced it out again, and then I brought it forward like a bar or so, and then I pitched that down an octave, and this is what the two kodos sound like together. So next I added this preset from my analog lab bank. It's a pad. Make sure you guys are looking out for that analog lab bank. It's super fire. It's going to be dropping next Friday. I'm going to be dropping another video with it anyway. So you guys will see it, but just be on the lookout. So basically I just did a G sharp minor chord and then I brought down the third for the first part. And this is what it sounds like. So for effects, I added this EQ with this bandpass pass narrow. Next, I added this reverb, and then finally, H910 Harmonizer. And then next, I used this pad from Balkan Ethnic Orchestra. It has this telekinetic engine preset. And this is what I did for the MIDI. It's just playing on the G sharp. This one is just adding a texture in the background. And this is what I did for effects. I just added this good Hertz lossy. So yeah, after that, I bounced out each sound individually. You can also see I chopped up the guitar to just this two bar section that I liked. Just that way it would sound more repetitive and more on time. So for the structuring, I have it going from low vocal into the high vocal right here. And then I took out the Kodo for the next parts. And then at the end, I just stemmed it all out. After I stemmed it out, I bounced it out and I added these master effects. So just the simple EQ, boosting some of the highs and the mids, some of the lower mids, and then cutting a little bit of the lows. And then I went for the sound shifter, just pitching it up one semitone. After that, I grabbed good Hertz low high and I just cut out some of the high frequencies above 10,000 Hertz. Next, I added this wow control, just giving it a little bit of wow. And then I brought down the analog noise gain. So yeah, next I added this mid side matrix and I was just boosting 1.5 dB on the sides. So next I added this default delay tape from Arturia and I brought the mix down so that way it just kind of adds the tape delay in the background. And then finally I added a limiter just making it loud. All right, so I left the BPM the same at 123 and you can see I just pitched the sample down one semitone. The first sound I added was this rim and this is what it sounds like. I just had it hitting right here and then I looped that bar. The next sound I added was this 808. gonna hit shift D so you can see the notes better. I have a really simple pattern going right here and then at the end I just put it on step and did this simple like double note roll. Next I added this hi-hat. So I didn't do fill two steps on this I just kind of drew them in wherever I heard them. I noticed feeling peachy had the notes kind of like spread out so I didn't want to just do a two-step pattern. You can also see I did some triplet rolls right here and then down here but yeah this is what the hi-hat sounds like. On the hi-hats, all I added was Looperator with this vinyl effects, and then I added Shaper Box, just panning left and right. Next, I added some open hats. This is the first one. You can see I brought the out knob up on this one too. I added the second open hat as well. All right, so next I added this perk. And that's just hitting after the one and the five. Then the last drum sound that I added was the second perk. And then finally I added my tag down here. So for structuring, I just had this section where it plays the first part of the sample and then all of the drums. And then it goes into the verse where I take out the 808 and the two perks. I also dropped out all of the drums for the last bar of the verse. And then it goes right back into the chorus. And you can see I just have them alternating throughout the entire beat. And then in the beginning, I wanted there to be some sort of intro. So I put the drums in for the first four bars and then I took them out in the second. It's also where I put my tag. And then I just had to drop back into the second part of the chorus. I also duplicated the 808 pattern and made it unique. And deleted all the notes besides the first one and put the velocity on zero. And this just made it so that way the 808 cut right when the verse started. So for mixing, this is really simple. I added one EQ, just cutting out some of the lows and then some of the highs. I added another just because I wanted to get rid of more lows and then boost some mids. And then I added this portal preset just giving you a little bit more texture you can see i have the mix like super low i didn't add anything on the drums i just bust them to this reverb track and then i panned the perks opposite of each other but yeah that's the whole beat thank you all for watching this i hope you guys learned a thing or two from this video that you can put in your own beats i showed a lot of processing sauce so hopefully you guys found a plugin that you didn't know about so like i said my analog lab bank is dropping friday make sure you guys are ready for that it's filled with super fire sounds and then next week i'm going to be making a whole beat using that bank so watch out for friday all the drum sounds i use in this video are available at the first link in the description noah cuz essentials volume one fire
But yeah, follow me on Instagram at NoahCuz. That way you don't miss out when I drop new kits. Subscribe to Split Mind. I'm gonna let this B play out. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.